today we have the following question. I have the basic concept of my niche and can write to this person, but I struggle to define it in a way that I can introduce it to people I meet networking. Um, so first I'd like to thank Therapy Notes for sponsoring Ask Allison. Having the basic concept means you probably have a general idea of your niche, but not an ideal client. Um, an ideal client is one imaginary dream client that you would really love to work with. This imaginary person is who you gear all your marketing towards. Um, there's a really common misconception that the goal is to only work with ideal clients, um, and that's not the case. You can and will still have great, but not cookie cutter clients in your practice. The purpose of the ideal client exercise is to make your marketing clearer, to help kind of be the deal breaker if you're deciding between two things, whether it's two marketing strategies or um, how to word something. Um, so the goal is not to have all your clients be exactly the same. Most of us would burn out pretty quickly with that. So we have a whole section on the ideal client and the Know Your Niche course in the Abundance Party. I would consider too, that there may be different ways that you describe who you work to work with depending on who you're talking to. So if you're talking to a medical professional, it might sound one way. If you're talking to another therapist, it might sound another. If you're talking to somebody outside of those fields, it might be another way. Um, so it might help to choose which of those is the easiest um, and figure out your wording for that and then see if it helps you in the wording for the others. I'm a structure person. I know not everybody loves a structure. Don't let this hem you in, but I want to give you some structures that might make it a little bit easier. Um, I help person, greatest goal, without greatest fear. Or, and I'm going to give you examples, don't worry. Or I help person, greatest goal, while value. Um, so here's an example. In the Abundance Party, I help therapists fill their practice so they never have to work for an agency again. Um, if you help women with assertiveness skills, you could say, I help women put themselves first without becoming selfish or bitchy, right? Because that's a common fear that's going to come up. Or if you're going the value-based way, I help women put themselves first while still being loving partners, parents, and friends. Um, like I said, those structures are not set in stone. They're just an idea to kind of help you lift off. Um, feel free to play with them and see if they help. If you want everything you need to fill your practice and your self-starter, come and join us in the Abundance Party. We've got everything you need to learn plus support. If you have questions you'd like me to ask, answer on Ask Allison, email me at ask at abundancepracticebuilding.com. I hope that was helpful.